Hey guys, welcome to Cherry Blossoms. Um, I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff. So, first I wanna do a book review. And the book I'm going to do it on is The Snicker of Magic. Many of you have heard of it and been on your school's battle book team. And it's a really good book. So, let's review it. So it's really good, it's like an old folk tale kind of thing. And it's really good for, um, fourth graders, third graders, anyone who's on this kind of level. And, um, I really like it because it's kind of like a folktale fantasy. And anybody who likes that kind of stuff, it's really good. And now it's really good for both boys and girls, so it's not really assigned to anybody. So, um, I'll read the first page to see, to get you hooked on it. They all say this has got the magic has gone out of this place, said Mama. She looked straight ahead as she dove past the white beam of our headlights, deep into the night, like she could see exactly what was up ahead of us. I couldn't see anything, though. Not a house, not a store, not even an old barking dog. A big fat moon, a pale, white, and lonesome looking, was our only street light. I watched the way the moonlight painted her profile. The dark shadows under her cheekbones, the tight pull of her mouth. I don't need to see her eyes to know how they look. Sky blue and beautiful, full of sadness in the world. So, I propped my feet on the dashboard and wiggled my sock-striped toes. Does that mean there was magic here to start with? The wind answered before Mama did. It swooshed through the fan and flung her blonde hair into a cloud of golden whirls and curls. Only my mama would shine like that when the rest of the world was so dark. Now, it's uh, really about how this family is, is cursed, but they don't know it yet. Once they arrive in Midnight Gulch, they hear stories about the thread, Brothers Threadbare. And there's a whole long, long story t tied into it. And um, it's really interesting because it goes along with the folktale vibe I told you about. And um, so they are cursed with wandering hearts, so they never stay still. Never stay in one place. Either one or two happens. There's a storm. And I forgot the other one. But you'll have to read to find out. I'm not going to spoil much. But the main character's name is called Felicity Juniper Pickle. She has special magic, special talents, special hobby. She collects words. And it's a snicker of magic. That's why the book is called A Snicker of Magic. And Midnight Gulch, tonight, Tennessee, is supposed to have a snicker of magic in it, too. There are stories about people in the past with powers and different families would have different snickers and different pieces of magic. Like, some people would could can stars in mason jars, and some people could bake secrets into pies. I mean, it's not possible, but if it's really nice if we could think so. But, it's a really good book, and, and it's really hard to tell what it's about, because it's just so good, you're speechless. So, I wrote, I wrote, um... This is my second account, but this is my first video, so I'm really excited about it because I really wanted to do a book review. So if you have any requests, please comment down below, subscribe, and I hope to do another video soon, if not today, tomorrow, or whenever I get bored. So I hope you like the Snicker of Magic. I didn't tell you much because I didn't want to spoil too much, and I wanted for you to read it all the secrets out and it's really good and this book is by natalie lloyd she has another book called a key to extraordinary if you'd like me to do a book review on that book please comment down below because that book is really good too now i'll tell you a little snicker about that it still has the folktale vibe a little bit of magic intertwined 
and um, it's in Tennessee. And a little fun fact about the author, she lived, Natalie Lloyd lives in Chattatunga, Tennessee, and um, a lot of her background goes into her books. For example, it says she collects old books, listens to bluegrass music, which in this book, we'll listen a bit, Cleo, Aunt Cleo, to Felicity, she listens to bluegrass music as long as Day Grissom. Now, don't has who he is in, in the comments. You'll just have to read it and find out. And loves exploring quirky mountain towns with her dog, Biscuit, which is the name of the dog that Felicity owns. Her favorite words are Starlight, Firefly, Violet, Love. A Snicker of Magic is her first novel. Natalie, this is Natalie Lloyd's first novel. And a lot of, as you heard, Natalie Lloyd's background goes into her stories. Especially this one, because bluegrass music goes into it, the dog Biscuit goes into it, and, um... It says exploring quirky mountain towns, which is what um, it goes into a little bit of Kitty Extraordinary and a little, it tells a little bit about it of uh, In Snicker of Magic, which is a little event, but I still don't want to spoil it for you. So, I hope you like this review. Comment down below, all that stuff I told you before. Now, uh, please like, give it a thumbs up, comment for any requests, or, um, and comment if you read A Snicker of Magic or A Key to Extraordinary, and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. And I really hope you liked this video. This is my first one, my first book review, and I hope you guys really liked it, so give it a thumbs up, comment. All the other stuff, and just see you guys later. Bye.